Hey guys, I'm Mike. I'm gonna do a product review of a hydraulic foot pump that I picked up off of Amazon. It's designed for 10,000 PSI of output hydraulic force using 140 PSI pneumatic pressure. So again, I got it from Amazon. So the Amazon ad said it was capable of having uh, adjustable output forces, which to some extent that's true, but those forces are anywhere between 9,000 and 10,000, which is really not adjustable in a sense. So the pump requires 90 to 140 PSI to operate. And then right here it says for every one PSI, you're gonna be putting out of input uh, air, you're gonna be putting out 100 PSI of hydraulic force. So you're looking at 9,000 pounds of force output. Well, my cylinder I'm hooking this into is only capable of holding three. I'm building a tool, a custom tool. And uh, so I'm only wanting 1,500. So if you look at the manual, there is a, a relief valve built into the pump, uh, but you have to disassemble it to get to it. It's items 33, 34, and 35. It's a spring, a ball assembly, and a set screw. So what you have to do is pull the pump apart to be able to gain access. There's three screws on this side and there's three screws on the opposing side. They're all uh, Allen heads. So straight out of the box, before I disassembled that thing, I did pump it up to about 4,500 PSI, which is about up into here. I didn't want to exceed the pressure of my gauge because it's only five and I backed it off. So I did adjust that screw and I'll show you how I did that. But after I adjusted it, I'm getting roughly 1,600 PSI. So on my gauge, I'm getting 1600. I'm gonna leave it where it is, I'm happy with it. I just gotta lock that screw in place. So to release the pump, push right there, and it'll release itself. If you come onto the inside here, you have to take it apart, you can see that screw right there. That is a relief valve. Uh, so if you back it out, it'll decrease your pressures. In my particular case, the 1500 that I've got, or 1600, the screw's a little bit loose. So what I'm gonna do is, is with a punch, I'm gonna come in here and just punch into the threads of the screw from the cast to sort of knurl it into the screw to lock it in so it doesn't come in or out. But I am impressed with this thing. I'm excited the fact I don't have to muster up some kind of relief valve system for what I'm building. Once I get the product built, I'll post another video for you guys. Appreciate you for watching my video. Good luck to you.